it's time to lose your job as a data scientist if your job is to make pretty charts or just give insights from an input csv file yes chat gpt's code interpreter is widely available and in this video i'm going to show you how you can leverage chat gpt's code interpreter to make pretty charts that a junior data scientist would do for you in fact build a classification model and look at the accuracy in this case the accuracy was 100 percent which means we were actually overfitting due to data leakage but still at the end of the day this is an impressive piece of technology that can definitely definitely replace a junior data scientist without any doubt let's get started with the video let's learn how to enable code interpreter on your chat gpt plus the first thing is you need to have a chat gpt plus subscription once you have chat gpt plus subscription or the way for you to validate if you have chat gpt plus subscription that you would get gpt4 as an option in your chat gpt interface if that is sure then go click the three dots here just next to your profile name after you click that click settings and once you click settings go to beta features and inside beta features you would see something called code interpreter just make sure that you enable this code interpreter lets you upload a file and then do a lot of things and that is exactly what i'm going to show in this video how code interpreters are probably going to take the job of data scientists which is not an exaggeration believe me when i say that so enable the code interpreter and if you want like dark theme let's keep dark theme and close it so at this point we have enabled code interpreter when you hover your mouse on gpt4 you can see code interpreter also available so now the way you can use code interpreter is first click code interpreter after you click code interpreter you would get this small icon here which was not available before so when you click default you wouldn't see the file upload icon but when you click code interpreter you would get this upload file so click the upload file button once you click that you can upload any csv that you want or any file basically so i'm going to show you how i'm going to upload a csv file and do magic um, i mean this was almost like magic but asking chat gpt to do certain tasks which a junior developer or junior data scientist would do upload this file and uh, start with the question so you can start can you make some insightful charts that explain this data set so this is the shark tank india episodes data set it was available on kaggle you can find this data set on kaggle so just literally uploaded the data set and i've asked it to make some insightful charts and it just basically starts explaining me about the columns that are available in the csv file episode number pitch number brand idea investment amount and it also tells me the details the, i didn't give any data dictionary but it gives me the details and now it is starting to make insightful charts as you can see these are the charts that it is trying to make distributions of investment amounts requested distribution of equity offered number of investments made by each shark number of pitches per episode success rate of pitches i'm not kidding you even for a junior data scientist you might have to sometimes sit and exactly tell them what to do you might have to give them that instruction about what kind of things that they should do and that is how somebody would come up with this this is to be frank and honest it's mind blowing the fact that chat gpt knows that these are the five things that it can do with this data set that it has never seen before and it has made these charts distribution of investment amount requested distribution of equity offered and look at the individual shark name like these sharks are there available anupam ashnit namita aman you have got all these sharks here and you can see the number of investments that they made and you have seen like you can see the episode number and how many uh, pictures were made in a given episode and you have got the details about it so you have got all these informations available so it says now let's calculate the success rate and all these things maybe you know what i'm going to just write um right away ask it to build a model i'm going to ask it to build a model and then say um just build a model so can you build a classification model i don't know why i'm saying classification model but let's see what the core interpreter would so okay it says we can build a classification model using this data set however first we need to define what we want to predict a common goal might be whether or not a pitch is successful which could be as a defining receiving investment okay so despite me just saying that i want to only you know to build a classification i didn't say what classification model i didn't say what should be my explanatory variable and the target variable chat gpt itself came up with that idea and it says what kind of variables it can use and it's finally asking for an acknowledgement i'm 
I'm so glad that I'm still a human being that I could, you know, acknowledge chat GPT. Go ahead, go ahead. And let's see now it's going to build a model. So as you can see, it's trying to build a classification model to predict the success of a pitch to make sure that, you know, whether if somebody makes a pitch in a shark tank, whether it will fetch investment or not. That's that's what we're trying to predict. I'm not sure how easy it is to predict given the kind of data that we have got, like these are the columns that we have got. But ultimately, this video is not about how good you can predict or how good you can build a model. This video is about how chat GPT code interpreter is going to probably take our work. And um, it said, please continue. I have to say, please continue. I don't know why did it stop? Maybe I praised it so much that it felt shy and it stopped. So the model achieved a hundred percent accuracy on test data set. And when I say hundred percent accuracy, the only thing that I know for sure is that it is overfitting. Um, I think because, because you cannot otherwise build a model with hundred percent accuracy, um, or maybe all these sharks are totally biased that, um, they've got hundred percent accuracy. So it's, it's giving me all this information. Um, but ideally what I want to see is probably like a feature importance. Maybe I want to see the feature importance of the model. So it, I, it said like these are certain things it can do cross validation, feature importance, train with more data, try a simpler model. And I'm just asking it to show me the feature importance. I'm not sure if it is going to show me a chart, but, um, it's giving the description about that it suggested that the investment amount equity are the variables, most important predicting whether a pitch will be successful. Of course, now you, if you are a machine learning engineer or a data scientist, you can understand why there is hundred percent accuracy because it's using investment amount and equity as the most important variable to predict. Of course, anytime when the investment amount or the equity is greater than zero, then the investment has been made. So which is uh, also probably very popularly known as data leak. So we have got a data leak in the data set and chat GPT tried to use that to predict. I wouldn't blame the AI for this stupid mistake, but at the end of the day, we can see that chat GPT has done a tremendous, tremendous job in using code interpreter to make insights from a data set in such a way that I can very well with good confidence say that if you do not care about data privacy, or if you do not care about uploading your data to any cloud based solution, and if your data is not huge, it's, if it is like smaller CSV files, you do not need a data scientist. You can pretty much do really good work that, um, I mean, the only limitation right now you have got is like the 25 messages per hour. Um, but otherwise this does a pretty, pretty good job for which you do not need a data scientist. Like it can literally replace your junior developer or junior data scientist in this case, and it can make pretty good charts, which you can copy and paste it on a, let's say Excel, uh, sorry, PowerPoint. And uh, that is good enough. Like you can see, you can download the chart, you can keep it. And, um, and yeah, so you do not need an entry level data scientist anymore, given that you do not care about data privacy or uploading your data into a cloud based solution like chat GPT. Now, once again, the way you enable it is click the three dots, click settings, click beta features, enable code interpreter, and you are in for a magical ride. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in another video. Let me know in the comments what you feel about losing your job. Take care. Happy prompting.